Hello everyone, JH Medium here and welcome to Shangri-La in Yunnan Province, China. Today we are attempting the very famous Tiger Leaping Gorge hike. This is the first time I'm doing a two-day trek. So I don't know how this is going to go, but hopefully we can make it. Named after the legend of a tiger leaping over the Jingsha River, Hu Tiaoxia today is part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site, Three Parallel Rivers of Yunnan. Located between the Yulong and Haba Snow Mountains, this hike offers some of the most stunning views in China. Even though this is one of the most famous hikes in the country, the best part is there are still very few tourists. In fact, more foreigners come on this hike than Chinese. Today, we are hiking the upper trekking route, reaching an elevation of over 3,000 meters above sea level. We saw our trip near the Naxia Good Guest House, the start of our 20 kilometer hike. Before we came here, the weather report says it's gonna be like five degrees Celsius. But nope, underneath this sun, it's way too hot. So we had to take off our jacket, more weight in our bags. Not good planning on our part. We've been walking for like an hour now. Check out that spectacular mm. view of Yulong Snow Mountain behind us. Oh, after nearly three hours of hiking, we finally passed the summit of this mountain. And now we're rewarded with this really nice shade. So many rocks. After four hours of hiking, we finally made it to the halfway point of today's hike. We're at the Tea Horse Guest House. We can finally have some food. If you're planning on making this a three-day trek, Tea Horse Guest House is a great place to stay overnight on day one. And the terrace has got to be the most scenic place to have afternoon tea. But we're just here for a short while and we're going to keep pushing on. We just finished our short break at Tea Horse Guest House. And now we have another way to go until we reach our overnight stay. The bad news is that it's five more kilometers, but the good news is we get to enjoy more of these views. It's been 12 kilometers since we started hiking this morning. I am so exhausted right now, but we finally arrived at Judy's guest house just in time for the sunset. Check out that view behind me.
So we just finished breakfast at Halfway Guest House, which is probably the most famous guest house in Tiger Leaping Gorge. Unfortunately, we booked too late, so we weren't able to book it. But the guest house we stayed at was still really nice. So day two of our trek, we have another 10 kilometers to go until we reach Tina's guest house, which is the end of this hike. After what felt like absolutely forever, we finally reached Tina's guest house. Yes! <laughs> well, we were completely wrong about this section being easy. It's all downhill, which is a complete torture on my knees. But now we can have a rest. Hey guys, we are back at Lijiang and I am extremely exhausted right now. Overall, I am still really satisfied with this hike, but it was actually way more challenging than I expected. The uphill climb on the first day was actually not that difficult. It was just really tiring because we had to climb a lot of steps, but all the downhill portions were just torture on my knees. And that was definitely the most challenging part of this hike. Apparently the Tiger Leaping Gorge trek is only rated as one star. So it's supposedly really easy, but no. Don't expect this to be a walk in the park. You have to come prepared. On the way back down, I probably slipped like three or four times. I guess fitness wise, I'm still a long way off my dream hike, Tratanga in Norway. So I'm gonna keep on training for that. But in the end, I still highly recommend coming on this hike. The views are out of this world. If you wanna see the full details of our itinerary, check out the description below. So now I'm gonna leave you guys with these beautiful views of Tiger Leaping Gorge. JH Medium here and see you guys next time.